Let's go, Mr. Kitty, huh? Good cat. All tired. Hey, cat. Okay, viewers, I'm going to do a test to show you the uh, set voltage potential. Hopefully, this little rig's going to work. Got some flyback leads positioned quite further apart there, and neon bulb in the centre. See if this setup works. Power's on. This is hooked up to my MKBAZ meter in there. You can see how much amps this is going to pull as well. Let's see if this does nothing. There you go. Between there and there, there's potential. More than enough current to light that neon lamp up and destroy it even. There you go. I'll destroy the neon lamp over voting it. I didn't think that was possible. Now it's glowing purple. There you go. Battery, the flat um, CR2025. Let's pop that. I am standing on a safe little mat. There you go, just popped. Now, as long as you got good uh, protection, thick rubber mat, heavy uh, PVC pipe or solid bit of PVC rod. This is pretty dangerous. And I could have um, some bright spark suggested I could just light up a heap of LEDs, but I don't have enough. And two, they just pop straight away in, in, a, in the row that they have, oh, set them out in. So this is pretty much the same way of doing it, instead of using a row of LEDs from point to point. So this proves the principle anyway. Neon lamp doesn't work anymore. Alright. Be very careful here. Let's look at our electric meter. Huh. Barely pulling 5 amps there. Spinning away nice and slowly. Let's try something else. Okay, if yours, I'm gonna make up a little router table set up for this um blender motor. Bypass that bloody safety switch. Let a bolt into the top of the table like that. I'm gonna improvise about a bolt set is under there. Hopefully this can spin fast enough that it start blowing up some CDs. So I've got my scrap bit of wood. It's just an old major cover up. Dried fruit bin uh, plywood. I'm not gonna use a uh, new bit for this. That's a, a, a mess up. Oh. Make a decent size, probably about, I don't know about there. Decent size square. About I'll go in the middle, about here. I built a box around there with a window on top, so a dangerous shrapnel doesn't go um, injuring people. That should work out quite well, so let's measure this up and we'll cut it. I've also got another, a new cutting tool today. I'm going to use this one. I've this for a while. Got this one, Big W, much from the TV ad. It smells a bit funny, but that's China for you. And look, although it looks like an angle grinder, it actually oscillates. doesn't spin or reciprocate. So the best blade I've got is I think I'll use this one. Semi-circular blade. And this tool just oscillates it like that. About uh, up to 21,000 times per minute. So you can put your hand on that while it's running and it won't cut you. So, Put that attachment on, then we'll see how it goes. Does all other, it does other features that remove um, grout between tiles, sanding, buffer, um, a scraper which takes um, sinks and cuts silicon so you can remove sinks. This is designed for house renovating, so it does all those sorts of jobs. 
That's the last, which gets the um, uh, that bloody concrete from under tiles, gets all that off. They grout. out. Wood, plastic and metal. Metal ones, and just wooden plastic types. It's a pretty good tool. Alright, so, find a little Allen key here. Or oh, attach a bit, it's just got like a um, uh, cap screw here that attaches on the uh, workpiece. Let's give it a test. Okay, viewers, let's make our first cut with this um, oscillator. Get the idea how it works. You gotta use two hands obviously, not hold a bloody camera at the same time, but it does a pretty good job. But you can also um, adjust it to any angle, so I might as well use this corner bit. I'll get um, better accuracy then. It works very well. First bit's done. It's got a variable speed to it, so if you do a really sensitive work like buffing or something or polishing, turn this right down. Okay, as low as 15,000 um, oscillations this thing goes. 250 watts, 230 volt. Yeah, that is bolt tight, otherwise if you do it loosely, this thing will um, rattles off and doesn't drive. Pretty straight so far. Right. Still buy blades to those too, so if you mess these up, you always have the spares available. There you go. 
shabby, but it's only going to hold a bloody um, motor. Alright, the oars now are going to cut up the precise hole he's in this for the motor, so. Right there, it's going to fit the body of the motor for it, but allow for this to be bolted down. So in order to make a perfect the, um, square hole like that, in the middle of that wood, just use one of these bits. More precise, I use a smaller bit. So, let's try that bit, see how it goes. Okay, if you was a maybe little mark there, a little square, it's just enough to fit under here. But clear enough to clear the fan and still allow air to go through, so it should still run cool and efficiently that way. Let's give this a try. There you go. That's how cleanly you can cut. Okay, viewers, that's a nice, fairly square hole cut. Minimal overcutting, so that's pretty good. Yeah, I hope it's going to work as well as I thought. So that would bolt in between there and the motor underneath. So if I take those bolts here, slide the motor under, bolt these back up, that'll let me then bolt these on through here. And that should be it. See just how much amps this thing pulls. Barely an amp. Okay, if you always get a sort of shaped, specific shaped hole I've cut with that thing. Try to go through there, but it bottoms out before I can bolt that on. So I'm going to cut around to allow for those windings. Made a mark and I cut those shapes out so allow the windings to sit through. I have plenty of clearance because I don't like them vibrating and shorting out and that will damage them. So let's cut that out and see how well that fits. Okay, if you that's pretty much done. Windings aren't hitting, they're clearing. I'm not going to hit or do any damage. Let's do a vibration test. So let's plug it in and turn it on. Yeah, plenty of airflow, yeah, that's good. That'll run quite well, there they're getting hot. Okay, the oars are going to try and think of a way to bolt a CD to this thing. Something like a proper wood router set up that fits this, so. Thanks for watching.